Stormworms Tech Channel here, and today I'm doing a video about Netflix, so I'm on CNET.com here. And so it says here the end of free Netflix password sharing is coming soon. So you guys know that Netflix will not be charging you extra if you guys share your password. So, um, yeah, we've been annoyed about this for like almost a year now, so, uh, just be prepared to pay extra if you guys do decide to, um, Continue to share your password with with other people, not in your house. So, uh, yeah. So I said before March is out, Netflix will begin rolling out fees to share your account outside a single household. All right. So uh, this sucks for customers, you know, um, because then they'll have to pay a bit extra on top of their uh, subscription to share the password if they if they want to continue to do that. Uh, so it says that Netflix is ratcheting up its effort to get freeloading viewers to pay up. Within about the next two months, it will begin charging accounts for password sharing. Instituting a system that adds fees for extra member sub-accounts when people outside one household use the membership. After years of being relatively... Lacks about password sharing. Last year, Netflix started testing ways to quote monetize account sharing quote after recording its deepest subscriber losses in a decade. In addition to the password sharing fees, Netflix has also launched cheaper subscription supported by advertising. They launched that back in November, but you're limited as fuck on that plan. Uh, hoping to entice more people to pay if they don't have to pay quite as much. Netflix dominance of streaming video, not to mention years of unflagging subscriber growth, pushed nearly all of Hollywood's major media companies to pour millions of dollars into their own streaming operations. These so called streaming wars. Brought about, brought about a wave of new services including Disney Plus, HBO Max, Peacock, Paramount Plus, and Apple TV Plus. This Florida streaming option has complicated how many services you must use and often pay for to watch your favorite shows and movies online. Now, fleeing the heat. Of, in, of intensifying competition, Netflix is pursuing strategies that had dismissed for years, including an account sharing crackdown. How much will password sharing cost? Like I said, it's going to cost you extra to share your password with other people not in your household. If you guys have family across town or whatever, you guys want to share their share your. Netflix account with them, you guys can do that, but it will cost you extra, so keep it in mind here. It so it says that the company hasn't specified prices for these new change for these new charges yet. But face system was already being tested in Chile, Costa Rica and Peru. In these countries the fees work out to be roughly equivalent to one quarter of the price of a standard plan on average. If Nef if Netflix sticks to that practice, then each extra member sub account in the U.S. would cost between about three fifty and four dollars extra. So let's say you guys had the premium plan, which is twenty dollars a month. You guys would pay twenty four dollars a month for that. But if fairly wide range was tested in the U.S. Fees track with Chile, for an example, sub accounts would cost as much as four forty three a month. When will Netflix start charging me for sharing my password? Netflix says Thursday, as this was published on uh. January 20th, so this was, this was published on last Friday, so uh, 
Netflix said Thursday, which was the 19th of January, that it will start launching the account sharing fees beyond its test countries before the end of March, and that a full global rollout will take a couple of quarters. The company also said that the rollout would be progressive across its markets. Netflix won't. Netflix won't. Starting charging everyone globally at the same time, like flipping a switch, but instead will start in a selection of places and go from there. It hasn't specified what countries will be first or exactly how long new fees will take to fully launch worldwide. Here's a quote from Netflix CEO. Greg Peterson says, quote, we are, we are ready to roll out these, we are, really, we are ready to roll out those, we are ready to roll those out later this quarter. We will stagger that a bit as we work through sets of countries, end quote. Then he goes on to say, but we will, but we'll see, but we'll, yeah, but we'll see. That happens over the next couple of quarters and quote. How will Netflix enforce these fees? Netflix hasn't detailed how it will enforce paid pass return once the fees roll out widely. Its enforcement during the test in Latin America varied according to one report. Netflix helps on the page to say the service detects and account household by looking at IP addresses, device IDs, and account activity from devices logged into the same account. So that's how they would all uh, determine if they're going to uh, charge you extra to share your password. So let's say you share your password to f- your friend down the street or your family across town. Uh, they would know that you've done that because they can look at the IP address device IDs and account activity from devices logged in in the same account so that's how they would know that you're sharing your password with other people okay Netflix says that if your account is accessed persistently from a location outside your household or if someone signs into your account from a device that isn't associated with the household Netflix may ask the primary account owner to verify. Netflix does this by sending a link to a four digit verification code to the email address or phone number associated with the main account. This code must be entered into the device within 15 minutes or you'll need to request another one. However, Netflix may charge this. However, Netflix may change this process as the account sharing program rolls out okay so if you guys read that like the all uh, like the second to last paragraph in this little section here it says that um all right all right let's say you give let's say you give your family member across town your netflix login or whatever um and they log in with your account and all that good stuff uh, they may need, uh, you may need to enter in a four digit, uh, verification code for them to get in. Um, you have, you would have 15 minutes to enter in that code. If you don't enter in within that 15 minutes, you guys will have to request another one. So, yeah. Alright. So I said, can I share a low price basic account with extra members? Not likely. If Netflix keeps to the norms of the account sharing test in Latin America, Netflix would make these extra member fees available only on its standard and standard and premium in the U.S. Let, let me read it again because I, I kind of mess it up that says Netflix says not not likely if Netflix keeps to the norm of the account sharing test in Latin America 
Netflix would make these extra member fees available only on its standard and premium plans in the U.S., which both allow more than one sim 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 simultaneous stream. The standard plan has two screens and the premium plan has four screens, respectively. All right. Uh, the basic with ads and the basic plan has one screen at a time. So keep in mind, says in the test, Netflix hasn't offered an option for these extra member fees on its basic plans, which now are available in some countries as two options, a pricier baser, a, pri a, a pricier basic account that's ad free and a cheaper basic with ads. That's the new plan. In the U.S., the ad-free basic tier is ten dollars a month, and the ad-supported level is seven dollars a month. But you're very limited on the uh, ad-supported tier. You're very limited of what you can watch on there. So, you know, keep that in mind. All right. It says both of these basic plans limit your viewing to a single simultaneous. Both of these basic plans limit your viewing to a single sim. sim simultaneous stream which makes account sharing functionality difficult which is not practical I mean if you got like the basic plan that has one one screen at a time uh, uh, don't say your passion just don't do that it says will I lose will I lose all my recommendations if I get kicked off someone else's account or have to open a sub account. Netflix has created a profile transfer feature which it launched the day before revealing its plans for a wider rollout of the account sharing fees. Profile sh profile transfer has been a key component of the password sharing fee tested in Chile, Costa Rica, and Peru. This feature lets a profile created on a Share a Netflix account transfer its watch history and recommendations to a new to a new independent account. This new account can then be added to someone to somebody else's standard or premium subscription plan as an extra member for a fee, of course, or it can sign up for its own membership. How did Netflix come up with these fees? The password sharing fee system that Netflix will roll out appears to be modeled on a scheme it has been testing in Chile, Costa Rica, and Peru since March of, I guess, 2022, I guess. Because March 2023 is not here yet. Then in July, Netflix said it would be testing a different method and it'd be testing a different mark, it'd be testing a different method in Argentina, Dominican Republic, El Salvador. Guatemala and Honduras, so basically Central America there, and South America for, oh, for Argentina. Um, this test established an account primary residence as the home for the membership. If the service detects streaming at an additional households for more than two weeks, it would prompt the account to set up and pay for additional homes with the limit of how many additional homes you can add depending on how much you are already paying for Netflix. Netflix appears to be excuing this model in favor of the other one it tested. Alright. So, um, yeah, so Netflix will be charging you extra to share your account with people that are not, that are not living in your house. Uh, you can do that. Um, uh, you be uh, uh, you, you can check your password, but it, um, but it will but it will cost you not to do so. Um, this password sharing thing, it sucks that you gotta pay extra for it, but it is what it is. But it's ideal for the standard and premium subscription plans on Netflix. If you guys have the basic with ads or the basic plan. The net, the Netflix password sharing is not an ideal, uh, it's not an ideal situation for that. It's not. 
So, yeah, it's coming soon, guys. So you just be prepared for that. I don't know how much it's gonna be extra. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, y'all guys been warned and all. Uh, yeah, y'all got y'all got to stop saying your own password, or you can tell the people who are you can tell the uh, people you send your password with, uh, or you can tell them to get their own Netflix account. It's free to sign up, but you do have to pay to use Netflix, obviously. You do have to pay to use it. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, we'll see how this thing plays out. We'll see if people will continue to share their passwords and see how this thing plays out. So, um, yeah. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. If it will help me a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.